video will show how to download charts in PCS7 as well as the various options available to you. Let's discuss three ways to start the chart download. Let's begin from Component View of Somatic Manager. Start the downloading from the Charts folder by expanding the AS, which shows the Charts folder. Select the Charts folder and click the Download Toolbar button, or right-click the Charts folder and select PLC. Then select Download, and the Download window opens. Let's start it from within a chart. Expand the AS Projects Plant View To open a chart, for our example, we'll use the chart TICA315 in the Heat folder. Right-click and open this chart. Click the Download Toolbar button or click the CPU menu and then select Download. The download window opens. Our third example uses the Compile and Download Objects window from Somatic Manager. To open the Compile and Download Objects window, select a station or higher in Component View or Project or higher in Plant View. Click the PLC menu, then select Compile and Download Objects. The Compile and Download Objects window opens. Expand the objects on the left side. Locate the cell where the Charts object and Download column meet and select the checkbox. Clicking the Start button will start the compilation. If you click the Edit button at the bottom left, the download window opens. Now let's discuss download options. In the download mode area, entire program can be selected, which will download all data from the blocks folder of this CPU to the online CPU. In this mode, you'll be prompted about the CPU stopping. If this is not the first time downloading, you'll be prompted to read back online parameter values. The first part of the actual download is the data from the block folder. If downloading to a CPU 410, type change in run or TCIR is supported. When complete, you'll be prompted to restart the CPU. If changes only is selected, only changed block data will be downloaded to the online CPU. The CPU will not go to stop. If to test CPU entire program is selected, all block data will be downloaded to a different CPU or PLC SIM for engineering or testing. You will be able to download changes only to the original CPU. The Show Changes button is used to display the difference between the last downloaded project and this current one. It is only active if the optional software, Version Cross Manager, is installed and this feature has been enabled. The Include User Data Blocks option is selected by default and only comes into use when downloading changes only. If a data block exists in the Blocks folder of Component View but not in a CFC, it will be copied to the CPU when this box is checked. Additional information may be available in the Notes text after downloading. The Auto Archiving area allows you to set up automatic archiving of this project after each successful download. It is only usable if the optional software Version Trail is installed. And of course, by clicking the OK button, we'll start the download process using these configured settings.